from uh, Syriza Coalition of Greece and uh, we'd like to talk a little bit about the situation in Greece now. Above all What we had last year um, as an, an experience from the Sidagma movement was that we had taxes who um, were for the real estate, for the houses of uh, the people, and they wanted to collect it with the electricity bill. So they abused people that if they don't pay the bill, and it was a big amount of money and there were a lot of people who, who couldn't afford to pay it, they f said to them that uh, they cut the electricity bill. So what they did was um, to build um, neighborhood assemblies and to say that if anyone comes to try to cut um, your electricity, you call us and we come and um, we stop it. We stop them to from cutting them. And even when they, they managed to cut it, they had some electricians they could uh, reconnect it. So you had this practice um, that forms an ideological base that uh, says that okay we can build something we can do something by our own you had also had this with food um, they organized um, buying potatoes directly from the producers and so it was a win-win situation have this amount of money from one moment to the other because you're uh, the biggest opposition party, you can s help um, building these um, solidarity networks. For example, you can um, find doctors which uh, you can pay or which work for you as uh, Syriza and uh, send them to the neighborhoods and so you can help those people who are organized in these neighborhood assemblies to make their reality better and also to to show them that uh, their own practice and their standing up um, has a result in their everyday life. The second question is about um, something that had happened days ago in Luxembourg. The European government, uh, uh, the European government uh, decided to modify Schengen Agreement, uh, and now it's uh, a flexible uh, agreement, so they can suspend it for six months. The reason was that uh, there were problems about the border between Greece and Turkey. At the same time, maybe it's a measure against uh, the internal migration of Europe, inside Europe. Uh, and we see even in the last days as migrants in Greece have been attacked by Golden Dawn and neo-Nazis uh, uh, groups. Uh, so uh, we would like to understand which is the discourse of mainstream press and uh, uh, government and the right wing to understand uh, which is the new image they are shaping about migrants. Um, the problem is that racism was a big issue always in Greece to, to build a social consent. And so you had uh, this is uh, even tougher now in the crisis. So when you have all these attacks against migrants in uh, metro stations, because there were attacks in metro stations with knives against uh, migrants who were screaming for help and nobody helped them, uh, and even they broke into houses and uh, were attacking migrants, and this was uh, at an electoral part of an electoral informal electoral campaign of the Golden Dawn. And um, the crazy thing is that despite the fact that we had an attack um, of a Golden Dawn spokesman against two uh, left-wing female uh, members of the parliament, this was a big part of the discussion, but the anti-migrant uh, attacks, they weren't. And so we had in the last days, there were um, unions of migrants that uh, went to the press and, and they talked about it, but it's not a part of the mainstream discourse and it's not a part of the discourse of the general problematic of the 
political system in, in Greece. And what we see is that the Conservative Party uses migrants. For example, they said that we will they will expel um, kids, fr uh, migrant kids from uh, kindergartens. Um, and I think the the way that they they used it in uh, the pre-electoral period. Um, and the way that um, they try to, to make Schengen more flexible um, is that, for example, Syriza said that we, we want to give papers to those people because when we are in government, when a state um, gives uh, traveling papers to, to a person, then another state of the European Union can say, no, we don't accept this. And so I think that um, it is a way to to change the discourse, to make, um, to say that okay, what you say isn't that can't can't uh, be. We we can't let them travel, and so at the same time, you give uh, the right wing government in Greece the opportunity to build hegemony uh, on this discourse of uh, criminality on criminal migrants, um, because actually there is no migrant uh, law in migration law in, in uh, Greece that helps or integrates those people they live in the streets and uh, they are forced into criminality the last question is about the, the transnational space uh, we could build up uh, in Europe uh, starting from the point that uh, in the last year lots of movements arise at the global level and we are trying to understand with other movements in Europe how we can build up a network, common network and connection between different movements that at this moment they have even uh, uh, similar issues and uh, similar condition inside the global crisis. So how do you think we could uh, establish some connection inside Europe and the movement? I think the experiences of Greece can give us some directions, but it is really hard to translate them one to one in um, other um, central discourses. Because what I think one f one good thing that we we can take is this um, this relationship between movement and party, because the the people of the party are uh, in connection with the movement; they are a part of the movement, and it's not that you have an elitistic approach. And um, I think this is really important also to, for example, in, in Germany, uh, the left party has always, is always very focused on what is going on in the parliament. And I think um, what we can see from the experience, uh, from the example of Greece, is that that is completely wrong to have an approach to say either we are in the parliament or either we are in the movement. It, uh, the one, f one shouldn't uh, be without the other to be, because now it's, it's really important to have effects uh, in real politics and in, in Europe you have to to have this uh, this way of uh, relationship I think thanks a lot <laughs>